America's allies are invested in her lies. America's allies are all in bed with America because America was a manager for the lies of Israelis that they invented that spread it throughout the whole world. Our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakradash. Salutations, all the fellow Akim, laborers, scattered elect, house of David, pushing the word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is a lesson. Hopefully you brothers are edified. I'm going to start it off in the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 9. Listen, there is a synagogue that belongs to Satan. Those in this synagogue say that they are Jews, but they are liars. They are not true Jews. I will make them come before you and bow at your feet. They will know that I have loved you. You have followed my teachings about not giving up. So I will keep you from the time of trouble that will come to the whole earth. This trouble will test those who live on earth. The trillion dollar debt is money received to America from the elite. And America manages to distribute this money to all her allies. And then their allies fund their allies let's go over to uh, chapter 18 and 3 all the peoples of the earth have drunk the strong wine of her sexual sin the kings of the earth have sinned sexually with her and the businessmen of the world have grown rich from the great wealth of her luxury in 14 of 18 countries polled the US ranked First as top ally, Israel, 82%, South Korea, 71%, the Philippines, 64%, Japan, 63%, Canada, 46%, Australia, 38%, Kenya, 35%, Brazil, 32%, Nigeria, 27%, Mexico, 27%. South America, 24%. India, 21%. And Indonesia, 16%. Revelation 17 and 5 reads, She had a title written on her forehead. This title has a hidden meaning. This is what was written. The great Babylon, mother of prostitutes and the evil things of the earth. They sell gold, silver, jewels, pearls, fine linen cloth, purple cloth, silk and red cloth. They sell all kinds of citron wood and all kinds of things made from ivory, expensive wood bronze iron and marble they also sell cinnamon spice incense mirth frankincense wine and olive oil fine flour wheat cattle sheep horses and carriages they sell the bodies and souls of men they will say babylon the good things you wanted are gone from you all your rich and fancy things have disappeared you would never have them again. All these jewels, cloths, and silk are imported for America to consume. America takes loans on credit distributed and they distribute it to their allies. Their allies make goods, then import goods to America. Americans buy these goods and what doesn't sell collects as a tax debt. Let's look up the definition of merchandise. It reads, promote the sale of goods, especially by their presentation 
and retail outlets. This consists of commercials on TV, radio, etc. A consumer is who a person who purchases goods and services for personal use. Revelations 13 and 16 reads, The second animal also forced all people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to have a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. No one could buy or sell without this mark. This mark is, is the name of the beast or the number of his name. Whoever un has understanding can find the meaning of the number. This requires wisdom. This number is the number of a man. His number is 666. Rich, poor, free, and slave can't buy or sell without the mark, which is the RFID microchip. That's going to be all that accepts their personal info, medical, and financial accounts, basically keeping you in slavery. America, alongside of all their other UN countries, are in bed with Babylon, which is America. And they're in alliance with keeping all their citizens under slavery to the beast. The wicked rulers are trying to keep a lie that was created to start the United Snakes, which was formed to keep the true children of Israel identities unknown. But these lies are mainly benefited through Israeli and American alliance. Hope that this lie could be maintained through unity of all these countries keeping these lies going for their benefits to receive aid from America who manages the credit they collect from the elite bankers. The U.S. Census is pretty much counting y'all for slavery for the New World Order. Let's go to the book of Micah. No, the book of Numbers 24 and 17. And it reads, I see it, but not now. I behold it, but not soon. There goes forth a star from Yaakov. There arises a meteor from Israel. It smashes the pate of Moab, the crown of all the children of Shet. This is a quick breakdown of star and meteor. The verse is difficult. It could also be rendered. There marches forth an army. There arises a tribe which likewise makes sense in the context. The rabbinic interpreters took the verse Masonically, Rabbi Akava understood Star Kakava as a reference to his commentary. Simon Bar Kosaba, the leader of a major Jewish rebellion against Rome, renaming him Bar Kakba, son of a star, Pate, crown, crown in the sense of head. An alternate translation is borderland or land. And the word corona just simply means crown. That's why you have the COVID-19, the coronavirus, symbolizing to the elite and others all over the world that the crown is here. The woman gave birth to a son. He will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. But her child was taken up to, to Yahweh to sit to his throne. The woman ran away into the desert to a place Yahweh prepared for her. There she would be taken care of for 1,260 days. The book of Micah. Two and twelve. Yes, people of Jacob, I will bring all of you together. I will bring together all those left alive in Israel. 
I'll put them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. Then the place will be filled with many people. Someone will open up the way and lead the people out. The people will break through the gate and leave the city where they were held captive. Their king will go out in front of them. The Lord Yahweh will lead his people. The book of Jude, verse 8, reading down. It is the same with these people who have, who have entered your group. They are guided by dreams. They make themselves dirty with sin. They reject Yahweh's authority and say bad things against the glorious angels. Not even the archangel Michael did this. He argued with the devil about who would have the body of Moses. Michael did not dare to accuse the devil with insults. He said, the Lord punish you. But these people say bad things about what they do not understand. They do understand some things, but they understand them not by thinking, but by feeling the way dumb animals understand things. And these are the very things that destroy them. It will be bad for them. They have followed the way that Cain went to make money. They have given themselves to doing the wrong that Balaam did. They have fought against Yahweh as Korah did. And like Korah, they will be destroyed. They are like dirty spots in the special meals you share together. They eat with you and have no fear. They take care of only themselves. They are clouds without rain. The wind blows them around. They are trees that have no fruit when it is time and are pulled out of the ground. So they are dead two times. They are like wild waves in the sea. These people do shameful things in the same way waves make foam. They are like stars that wander in the sky. A place in the blackest darkness has been kept for them forever. If you still believe in an American dream, you're going to die two times. You're like that fruit that has nothing to produce when it is pulled up from the ground. All these countries, the UN, America's allies, they're all in bed with America, perpetuating, keeping lies going about who the children of Israel are. This is an investment, a trillion dollar investment that these countries have made with America, mainly the Israelis, keeping lies going under the title of allies. America has the managed to manage all these lies these many years. And all these countries have benefited off of America, keeping their citizens slaves. The New World Order, the census is just a new way to count you as a slave. All these countries have invested in a lie, a trillion dollar lie. And now that these lies are being exposed, Babylon has fallen and it can't get back up again. Hopefully that you were edified. And with that, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakradash. Shalom.